Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to program this motion sensor light switch from Top Greener. It's called the TDOS5. And the nice thing about this light switch is that it only has two modes. There's either occupancy mode. Occupancy mode is what you might expect. It's going to sense motion when there's motion in the room and it will turn on. And then when it stops sensing motion, it will turn off. And then vacancy mode is where the lights can only be turned on manually if you push this button. So even if it senses motion when you walk in the room, it's not gonna turn on until you push this. And then it will turn off based on the timeout settings that you have. So in order to change the time delay, in other words, how long it's gonna take for the lights to turn off after it stops sensing motion, you have to remove this face plate. And the only way to do that is to first remove the wall plate. So if you haven't removed your wall plate, go ahead and do that. And once your wall plate is removed, you'll probably have to get some kind of a screwdriver or some object like that, and then pry off the face plate of the light switch. And then once it's removed, you're gonna see two dials here. And the one on the left is the range dial. And the idea behind this is to tell the light switch how sensitive do you want this motion sensor to be? Like how far away should a person have to be in order for it to detect that motion and turn the lights on or, you know, wait for it to turn off. And I believe by default when it comes from the factory, it's going to be right in the middle between two and three. But uh, wherever it's at, uh, the whole idea with this is if you turn it all the way to the left, counterclockwise by the one, that's going to be 30% sensitivity. In other words, not very sensitive. And if you turn it all the way to the right clockwise at the position number four, that's going to be 100% sensitivity. So if you just simply always want this thing to turn on no matter what, no matter how far you are, uh, no matter how much motion there is, turn it all the way to the right. Now the dial on the right is the time setting. So how long do you want this light switch to wait before it turns off after it stops sensing motion? And this can be anywhere from 15 seconds, which is test mode if it's turn all the way to the left counterclockwise where it says test. Most people probably want a little bit more time than that. So you could turn it to 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or 30 minutes. And I believe you could do time intervals between these. For example, if you wanted to turn off after five minutes, you could turn this arrow so that it points right between the test and the 10. Or if you wanted 15 minutes, you could try to have it point between the 10 and the 20. But at the very least, you can set it to 10, 20, or 30 minutes based on where you turn this thing. Once you're all set with that, you can put the face plate back on here. And if you want to turn this to vacancy mode, if it's not already there, and again, vacancy mode is where the lights must be turned on manually and then they will turn off automatically. So if you want to have to push the button in order to turn it on, this might make sense in like a bedroom, for example, if you don't necessarily want the lights to turn on just because it senses motion. All you have to do is press and hold the program button for three seconds to change the mode. And you'll see the LED indicator flash twice for vacancy mode, or you will see it flash four times for occupancy mode. So whichever one you're at, you can press and hold it for three seconds and however many times you see that light flash, that will indicate which mode you just set it to. And one other thing to be aware of is what they call the CDS function. And this is only while it's in occupancy mode. As you use the light switch, this sensor will learn your habits based on the level of ambient light in the room. So for example, if the light switch automatically turns on, but you don't want it on and you turn it off manually within 15 seconds because you are already have enough ambient light in the room. Say if you have like a kitchen with a lot of windows and you just don't need the lights on and you push the button within 15 seconds of it turning on and then it turns it off, the CDS function in this light switch will start to learn that you don't want the light to turn on when you have that level of ambient light in the room. And then the motion sensor will only trigger the lights to turn on once there is a lower level of ambient light than there was in that instance when you told it to turn off. So all you have to do to train this light switch to behave the way that you want it to is just to push the button when it's not doing what you want and it will start to learn. So there you go. That's how you program this light switch. I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like the video and I'll talk to you next time.